。好，跟住去到第三十題啦。咁當年都係得三十五個 percent 嘅同學答啱嘅啫。咁就問翻一二三呢三句啦，有邊一啲嘅句子咧係能夠正確描述得到咧向光性嘅重要性嘅？咁當我哋講重要性嘅時候呢佢就唔係淨係單單講個功能啦，或者一個反應嘅一個器官嘅功能啊，或者即係生物嘅反應嘅。你仲要將呢個功能啦，同埋呢個反應啦。將佢同一個生物嘅生存啦，例如揾嘢食啦，或者離開一啲危險啦，同埋啦某一個反應嘅終極目標咧，拉上關係嘅。咁牙齒嘅功能啦，自不然咧就係將啲嘢食 cut 做細細嚿啦，係咪？但係呢個都未係佢嘅重要性，重要性就係將嗰啲嘢食咧去切細粒之後咧。增加佢嘅表面面積，就令到咧啲酶咧就容易啲去消化啲嘢食，呢、这個先叫做重要性，去達到我哋消化嘅終極目標。咁啊，提及翻少少概念先啦。對於嗰一課 tropism 咧，我哋學個 shoot 同 root 咧，佢哋反應係唔同嘅，而我哋就要將個 shoot 同 root 嘅反應連帶到去棵植物嘅生存。呢、这個就係嗰個重要性，咁所以啦，呢幅圖咧極速提翻先啦。當一棵植物咧接收到一個單質光，咁佢個 shoot 同 root 咧嘅反應就有好大嘅分別啦。咁首先嗰個框咧就會有一個正向光性，咁所以啦佢係會咧生向嗰個單質光嘅，而嗰個根咧就係一個負向光性，所以咧佢係會 ban 離開個光嘅，有基本概念先。咁所以啦，第一個呢，我哋一定知得到係啱嘅呢，就係、是、第三句。佢就話容許嗰個框呢，去到一個特定嘅地方，係有一個新 l i g h 嘅，因為個 shoot 呢，係能夠 show 到一個正向光性㗎嘛。咁所以啦 ，A 呢就已經錯咗。咁第二句呢，我哋都睇一睇埋啦，就係、是、嗰個根呢，由於佢有一個負向光性，咁即係根呢就會離開個光。咁其中一款嘅走向呢，就係、是、走去泥土嘅。咁所以啦，佢就會走向泥土，咁容易令到個根啦能夠找緊泥土，導致一個支撐嘅作用啦。但係最陰人嘅呢，其實就係第一句，究竟一個 root 嘅負向光性係咪能夠令到棵植物呢能夠獲得水分呢？咁其實就唔係嘅。第一句之所以錯呢，係錯在於其實當嗰個根部入到去泥土嘅時候呢。其實都已經冇咗個光嘅影響㗎喇，佢都照唔到光㗎喇，係咪？咁所以啦，亦都唔會令到佢呢再有一個負向光性嘅概念。反而啦，佢真真正正攞到水嘅原因呢，係因為佢有一個正嘅向水性 h y t r o t r o p i s m 所以第一句就係錯啦。得翻答案咧就係、是、C 啦。In that year, there were only thirty-five percent students got it correct. So the question is asking which of the following statement correctly describes the importance of the phototrophism of the plants. So in this part, I would like to talk about what is the importance. What does it mean? So for importance,、uh, many students they do not get the real idea. Is that they may Be able to talk about the function of a certain response, but they cannot relate the function of the response to the survival of the organism, or to talk about the ultimate goal of such response or reaction. So I give you an example about the chewing the food by teeth. So for the function, if we we call the function of the teeth, so very simple idea: cutting the food or break down the food into smaller pieces. But when we talk about the importance, we need to know that why do we need to cut down the food into smaller pieces? Because we would like to increase the surface area for the enzyme to work on the food, to increase the efficiency of the chemical digestion. So that's the importance to attain the ultimate goal of the digestion. So that's the meaning of the importance. So now we refer to the phototrophism in the chapter. We know that the tropism response of the shoot and root is different, and then we need to know that the response how can it relate it to the survival of the plant. So that's why for the diagram, very quick、uh, revision for the unilateral light. So we know that for the shoot for the root they have different response. So for the shoot, it will show a positive phototropism. So that means the shoot will bend towards the unilateral light. 
But for the root, it will show a negative phototropism. So that means the root will bend away from the unilateral light. So based on the response of the shoot and root, so we know that statement number three is correct. Because for the shoot, because it can show the positive phototropism, so that's why they will grow towards the sunlight and then get more sunlight for photosynthesis. So that's why three must be correct. So that means A is wrong. And then for the, the other two statements, number two, for the root, because it can show the negative phototropism, so that's why the roots, they will grow away from the light. So technically, for the soil, there's the dark area for them to escape from the light. So that's a way for the roots to grow to the soil to provide the anchorage. But for the statement one, which is the very tricky one, statement one is the wrong statement. Is talking about uh, phototropism, it ensures the root can get water from the soil. So the basic concept is that, in fact, once the root reaches the soil, so somehow the light has no effect to the root at all. So that's why it will not affect directional growth of the root. So for the root, why they can get the water from the soil? It should be due to the positive hydrotropism. Hydro is water. Tropism, that's the directional growth due to the uneven stimulate. So that's why for the statement one, which is wrong. So that's why the answer is C.